my entire bed mattress lifts up like from underneath like monster under the bed type shit it's black hoodie i'm back cooking these goodies look at these views from cooking these foods yeah well 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 what up world back with a banger today and that is uh that's bk the king have it your way and i am having it my way for sure i got the whole spread of delicious treats and um you guys know me when i get a bk crave it has to go down there's just no other option once i have a whopper on the mind it's pretty much game over so i got a double whopper today we're going big boy styles i got this crazy chicken sandwich that we're going to investigate as i eat it got some onion rings of course which are going on the whopper and then a canadian staple is the poutine cheese fries gravy that said we are in the halloween season we're in the spirit of spookiness and let me tell you one of the scariest things that's ever happened to me in my entire life back when i was about mm, let's say five okay so sit back we're gonna get this set and ready to roll and then i'll uh, i'll fill you in on this little terrifying tale firstly i need ketchup on my poutine that's just what's happening and because it's Halloween, that could be like the blood, blah, 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 blah. you know what I mean? Okay. We need zesty sauce for onion rings. This is true. What has to happen with this Whopper is we need to give you guys a little gander at it because it's just always got to see the food, right? And uh, what we do then is we get a few O-rings. That one's not going to work. We get that one and this one. And that one and we put additional ketchup do you know what I mean and we we do a smush and this because this is a double we must smush and we go in for the kill Yes, 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 and even more, yes. Whopper is so on point. So on point. I also blessed us with the full sugar cherry coke. Cherry Coke is, in fact, on a different level. All right, we're trying everything before we tell stories. We must have poutine before we tell stories. Looks still like it's still piping pretty hot. BK gravy. So salty. But in the best way. And that ketchup just cuts through that fat, brings it all together. Before we try or say anything more of the story, this is a crispy chicken sandwich, cheese, bacon, onion rings, mayo, barbecue sauce, lettuce, tomato, pickle. Now it wasn't supposed to come with lettuce, tomato, pickle. I personally requested that in the special instructions area on a potato roll actually too, because that bun's definitely different.
Okay, I see you. You get a little further in to really know what's happening. chicken sandwiches they are good man like really good to the point they may be getting slept on I feel as if bring back the main event all right let's tell you this little uh, scary tale so as a rug rat as a young man um, I was what you might call a fraidy cat aka a scary little bitch Although it didn't help that my parents showed me or exposed me to the movie Halloween at five years old. And they used to let me watch Unsolved Mysteries before bed. And Unsolved Mysteries was a major offender. It was terrifying. Basically all about murder and um, home invasion kidnapping burglars stories of this nature so they set me up to be an overthinker in the dark in my room alone so I used to lay in, in the dark in my room and like play tricks on myself by like I used to have coats hanging on like this rack and I always used to like in the dark they would turn into like somebody hanging like somebody hung themselves kind of thing or there was this pile of laundry that would sit outside the door where we would stack up laundry and it would kind of lean over out of the frame and I would used to make it so that was like a burglar leaning in my door, peeking at me. So I was already, you know, terrified. I was on edge. As a child. So one night, my parents are away for like I think the weekend it was and my grandparents came to to watch us to stay with us and they have a dog medium sized dog not big not small so it's a little medium dog and so as per usual I watched some sketchy shit and uh, it's bedtime I gotta go to bed so I'm in bed tripping myself out as I as I do as I normally do get myself all revved up
and halfway through me creating all these false narratives in my head about how I'm about to get murdered and die my entire bed mattress lifts up like from underneath like monster under the bed type shit I literally like I'm going up in the air I'm like what the fuck <laughs> I jump off my bed I bolt out of my room unknowingly their dog went and laid under my bed I had no idea she was there so like when she went to get up she pushed you know I'm just a kid five, I'm five I don't weigh much she pushed my bed my mattress up in that moment I legitimately thought like there was somebody like there's a, a monster or a person was hiding under my bed and I was about to be murdered but then of course the dog just came prancing out and I was like oh my god This is like, that is ridiculous. And that's like the biggest fear was always like monsters under the bed, right? And you like hang down and look under just to make sure there's nothing there. But this time it legitimately felt as if there was a monster under my bed. So terrifying. Shout out BK for this chicken sandwich though. It is legit. I cannot lie. Moral of the story check for dogs under your bed. If you don't want to have a heart attack. When they, when they get up to leave and you don't know they're there. Alright. I've, I've hit the wall. I cannot no longer continue. A double whopper and a poutine. Okay. Maybe one more bite. It's got to be it. Anyways, hope you enjoyed that one. Until the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well, check out the merch store, stay true. Peace.